Hello students, welcome to Susiddhi Academics and I am Amrita Satpati. Today we are going to start off exercise 10a, ratio and proportion where we had left it off last time. So I am starting with question number 11. Question number 11 is asking that a 35 centimeter line segment is divided into two parts in the ratio 4 is to 3 and then it is asking us to find the length of each part. So First, uh, first let's write the given, uh, given uh, statement, length of uh, line segment is equal to 35 centimeter and ratio in which that line segment is divided is equal to 4 is to 3. So sum of ratio parts, first we need to find out sum of these two ratio parts. What is it? 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7. Now, the longer segment which is which stands for 4. So, the length of longer segment. Therefore, length of long, longer segment equal to here it is written 4. So, 4 out of 7 is the length of the longer segment. So, 4 by 7, 4 by 7 of the total length 35 centimeter. So, we will multiply kar denge into 35. So, 7, 5 are 35, 4 into 5, 20 centimeter. That is the length of the longer seg segment. Then length of the shorter segment, either we do 3 by 7 of 35 or another method is we subtract 35 and 20, we will get the length of the shorter segment. So I will do subtraction here, that is that's more, uh, I mean easier to do, length of shorter segment. length of shorter segment is equal to le total length is 35 centimeter subtraction of long, longer uh, longer segments length so that will give us the length of the shorter segment which 35 minus 20 is 15 15 centimeter so the answer is 20 centimeter and 15 centimeter this is the ratio in which uh, this line segment of 35 centimeter has been divided so end of question number 11 we'll move to question number 12 so now we'll start with question number 12. Question number 12 says a factory produces electric bulbs. Okay. So if one out of every 10 bulbs is defective and the factory produces 630 bulbs per day, find the number of defective bulbs produced each day. So uh, our question is pretty simple. Pehle to it has given total number of bulbs produced per day. Every day it produces 630 bulbs. So I have written that given statement. And then ratio of defective is to proper bulbs. Here we have to be very careful. Out of 10 bulbs, every 10 bulbs, one is defective. That is what the question says. So means uh, if there are total 10 bulbs, one is uh, prop, uh, defective and the rest 9 are proper bulbs without any defect. So, the ratio of defective bulb is to proper bulbs is equal to 1 is to 9. Okay, if 1 out of 10 bulbs is defective, then ratio of defective to proper bulbs is 1 is to 9. Now, we need to find the total number of defective bulbs produced per day. Total number of defective bulbs. Okay, per day is equal to, we know that uh, 1 out of every 10 is defective. So, 1 by 10 is the ratio out of every 10 bulbs, 1 is defective. So, the ratio becomes 1 by 10 and that 1 by 10 of what? Of 60, 630. So, we multiply 630. Cancel out the 0, common 0. 1 into 63 is 63. So, per day, how many bulbs are defective? 63. Out of the 630 bulbs, total 630 
bulbs produced each day 63 are defective so end of question number 12 So we'll uh, start with question number 13 right now. Question number 13 asks, find the ratio of the price of a pencil to that of a ball pen. If pencil cost rupees 96 per score and ball pens cost rupees 50, 40 paise per dozen. Okay. So now we first need to understand what is score. Score, uh, the quantity of score is always rupees 20 and one dozen we already know it's 12. So cost of 20 pencils uh, it has given us cost of 20 pencils given cost of 12 ball pens given and then it is asking us to find the uh, ratio of cost of um, pencil to ball pen right so here first we need to find cost of one pencil if a score of pencil cost rupees 90 96 then what is the cost of one pencil one pencil is equal to 96 divided by 20, right? So it will be 2 tens are 20 and then 2 4 are 8, 2 is just 16, 48 by 10, which is rupees 4.8. This is the cost of one pencil. Similarly, we need to find out the cost of 12 ball pens. So if 12 ball pens cost rupees 50 and 40 paise we need to find the cost of one ball pen. So cost of one ball, ball pen would be how much? 50.40 divided by 12 because one dozen ball pen costs rupees 50 uh, dot four zero. So I need to divide by twelve to find cost of one bulb pen. So here I do the revision directly. Twelve ones are twelve. I cut this off. I do it here. Twelve fours are forty eight, right? Twelve fours are forty eight. Then two gets carry over. Twelve twos are twenty four, and the zero comes here. So cost of one. one ball pen is rupees 4.20 now we need to find the ratio of one pen uh, the pencil to ball pens ratio of cost of so ratio of so ratio of cost of ball pencil should be first i think in the question yes ratio of uh, not cost we'll write price price of pencil is to ball pen right that will be division of 4.8 divided by 4.2 right so 48 will remove the decimals multiply 10 in the uh, numerator and 10 in the denominator so it becomes 48 divided by 42 now common kya hai 6 6 7s are 42 6 8s are 48 we'll remove that 6 7s are 42 6 8s are 48 so the ratio finally came down to 8 is to 7 this is the answer of question number 13 okay now uh, question number 14 is super easy so i leave it to you for uh, you to do it if at all you are not able to, please let me know in the comment section. I'll attempt that as well. Question number 15 is asking, the ratio of income to savings of a family is 11 is to 2. Find the expenditure if the saving is rupees 1520. So expenditure means, expenditure means, kya family kharcha karta hai? How much the family spends in food, on food or uh, whatever, medical or whatever, that is expenditure. And savings to savings hote hi hai. So I write down the two state statement ratio of income to savings is equal to 11 is to 2 and savings is equal to rupees 1520. So uh, first we will find what is the total income then only we will get to know um, how much is the expenditure. So 
first uh, i know from this given statement that 2 out of 13 13 is what sum of these two ratio parts 11 plus 2 sum of ratio parts is 13 so 2 by 13 this much fraction goes in saving okay from the total income 2 by 13 is what stays in uh, stays as saving with the family so 2 out of 13 of the total income is equal to the savings amount what is the savings amount given to us 1520 so after this equal to what will i write 1520 right so from here therefore total income is equal to how much One five two zero divided by two by three. One five two zero. Two zero divided by two by thirteen, not three. Sorry, two by thirteen, right? Now we'll find the total uh, income by uh, dividing two ones are two, two sevens are four, two sevens are fourteen, two six are twelve, zero, right? So 760 into 13 we will do here. 760 into 13. 0, 3, 6 are 18. 1 is carry over. 3, 7 are 21, 22. Then 760 as it is, it will come down because multiplied with 1. So now I add 0, 8, 8, 9. Right? This is the total income of the family. Rupees 9880 is the total income of the family. But do we need to find the total income and stop here? No. What is the question asking? In the question number 15, it is asking find the expenditure. Okay. So, here it is not asking about any ratio here. Ratio is given. Ratio of income to savings is given. It is asking us the expenditure. Expend is a, expenditure is very easy. We just need to subtract the savings from the total income. Jo kuch bhi income se save kiya gaya hai. If we remove that, if we subtract that, then we will get the expenditure. Right? Therefore, total expenditure is equal to Nine eight eight zero subtraction of this amount savings amount one five two zero. So zero minus zero is zero. I write down first digit. Then here eight minus two is six. Eight minus five is three. Nine minus one is eight. So total. Expenditure is 8,360. This is our answer for question number 6, 15. So, here we end with question number 15. Question number 16 is same as question number uh, 16 is same as question number 15. So, I am moving on to question number 17. Question number 17 is asking, it is saying the ratio of zinc and copper to in an alloy is 7 is to 9. What is an alloy? Alloy is, uh, is formed when we mix different metals in different uh, ratios. Thoda kuch, ko, kuch ek cheez kam lete hai, kuch ek cheez zada lete hai. Even in our jewelry, sirf gold, agar gold jewelry hai, to sirf gold nahi hota. Uske saath dousre bhi metals use huye hote hai to give it strength, okay, to give it more ductility. So, there is an alloy in which the ratio of copper to zinc has been given. Sorry, zinc to copper is given. The ratio of zinc to copper is 7 is to 9. And what is it saying next? If the weight of copper in the alloy is 11.7 kg, find the weight of zinc in it. So, weight of copper in the alloy, we, have, we already know 11.7 kg. So, we first will find the total weight of the alloy. Hmm? So, sum of ratio terms first we'll find sum of ratio terms 
सेवन प्लस नाइन सिक्सटीन अगर टोटल वेट ऑफ एलॉय इज सिक्सटीन आउट ऑफ दैट नाइन इज द वेट ऑफ कॉपर सो नाइन बाई सिक्स ऑफ टोटल वेट ऑफ अलॉय इज विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच विल बी इक्वल टू इलेवन पॉइंट सेवन नाइन पार्ट्स आउट ऑफ द टोटल सिक्सटीन पार्ट्स इज एक्चुअली इक्वल टू वेट ऑफ कॉपर सो हियर कम्स इलेवन पॉइंट सेवन के जी दे फोर टोटल वेट ऑफ अलॉय इज इक्वल टू इलेवन सॉरी हाँ इलेवन पॉइंट सेवन दिस विल गो दैट साइड इफ इट गोज दैट साइड विल बी डिवाइडेड बाई नाइन बाई सिक्सटीन सो नाओ इट विल बिकम मल्टीप्लाइड बाई दिस इज प्रोकन वी ऑलरेडी नो सिक्सटीन बाई नाइन नाउ हियर नाइन टू जा एटीन सॉरी नाइन वन सा नाइन नाइन थ्री जार ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड डेसिमल पॉइंट इलेवन पॉइंट सेवन में एक डेसिमल है सो इट बिकम्स वन पॉइंट थ्री एंड वन पॉइंट थ्री नीड्स टू बी मल्टीप्लाइड विथ सिक्सटीन टू गिव अस द टोटल वेट ऑफ द लॉय सो विल डू सिक्सटीन इंटू वन पॉइंट थ्री हियर दिस इज फॉर एट दिस इज फोर देन दिस इज सिक्सटीन so if we add it becomes 8 10 2 20 208 208 mein ek decimal point hai yahan par 1.3 mein so it is decimal point yahan aa jata hai it total uh, weight of that alloy becomes 200 20.8 sorry 20.8 kg right 20.8 kg now out of that we need to find the weight of zinc weight of zinc we can find only by subtraction we know the weight of copper uh weight of zinc will be 20 total weight of uh, the alloy 20.8 we just found out here 20.8 ये ट्वेंटी पॉइंट एट यहाँ लिख दिया सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ टोटल वेट ऑफ टोटल वेट ऑफ कॉपर सो टोटल वेट ऑफ कॉपर इज 11.7 पॉइंट सेवन वी ऑलरेडी नो दिस इट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो आई सब्ट्रैक्ट एट माइनस सेवन इज वन डेसिमल पॉइंट कम्स हियर देन हियर टेन कैरी ओवर टेन माइनस वन इज नाइन हियर वन माइनस वन जीरो सो द टोटल वेट ऑफ जिंक इन द अलॉय इज नाइन KG. End of question number seventeen. Now coming to question number eighteen. Question number eighteen says a bus covers one twenty eight kilometer in two hours. Okay, in two hours one twenty eight kilometer, and a train covers two forty kilometer in three hours. Find the ratio of their speed. Now first, we uh, we have written the given statement. Distance covered by bus in two hours equal to One ten, one twenty-eight kilometer. Distance covered by train in three hours is equal to two forty kilometer. Now, do you know what is the uh, formula for speed? Speed होता है. मैं कितनी distance travel करती हूँ? मैं कि कोई vehicle जो कुछ भी है, distance कितनी distance travel करती हूँ in a certain time. एक time period के अंदर मैं कितना distance travel कर सकती हूँ? वो मेरा speed है. Similarly, speed of the bus will be the distance covered. That is one twenty eight kilometer. In what time does it cover one twenty eight kilometer? In two hours. So one twenty eight divided by two will give us the speed of bus. We'll do that first. Speed of bus. We understood the formula for speed. Speed is equal to distance by time. Therefore, speed of Bus is equal to one twenty eight divided by two, which is sixty four kilometers per hour. 
that is the speed of bus now what is the speed of train again very simple speed of train wahi formula same formula we need to use distance covered by the train in what time does it cover what distance it covers 240 kilometers in 3 hours so 240 kilometers divided by 3 will give us the distance that it travels in 1 hour distance traveled uh, by anything in 1 hour or 1 uh, minute or 1 second will give us the speed of that uh, particular uh, object or person so here we divide 3 ones are 3 3 eights are 24 80 80 km per hour this is the this is the speed unit unit of measurement for speed is kilometer per hour because distance is in kilometer time is in hour so speed that we get will be in kilometer per hour now we need to find ratio of their speeds okay so first we will take the speed of bus and then next we will take the speed of train and find the ratio bus speed to train speed is to train uh, train speed okay just simplify now so first come finding the ratio 64 by 80 4 ones are 4 4 6 are 24 Here it will become twenty. Again, we will remove four is there. Four fours are sixteen. Four fives are twenty. Final ratio is four is to five. If I take bus speed first in my ratio, bus speed to train speed, then it will be four is to five. If I do the ulta, if I do the reverse, if I take train speed in the beginning, train speed is to bus speed will be ulta. It will be reverse. Five is to four. so this is the answer for question number 18